second woman comes forward, says had to threaten to call police to stop Franken. On the same day that newscaster Lee Twitten accused Al Franken of forcibly kissing her and provided photographic evidence of groping, a second radio host came forward with a report that Franken angrily stalked her after a joint television appearance back in 2000. Melanie Morgan, a conservative talk show host, says she was brought on as a counterpoint to Franken on Bill Maher's Politically Incorrect 17 years ago. She says that Franken, incensed by a point she had made about then-President Clinton's budget, demanded her phone number from show staff and harassed her via phone for days. I made a statement about the budget numbers, Franken challenged me, I challenged him back, Morgan said in a piece for Media Equalizer, the website and organization she co-founded. It was about spending priorities, actually just a mundane discussion. But he obsessed over it. Things got worse after the show was over, when she says the former Saturday Night Live star wouldn't leave her alone about it. He approached me backstage, angrily called me out on those numbers and insisted he would prove he was right, Morgan said. He wouldn't leave me alone, he kept following me. As a woman, his presence and proximity to me felt very threatening and intimidating. I didn't realize his creepy behavior after the show meant it would continue in the days to come. And his behavior certainly became creepy, to the point where it could be considered stalking. He approached Carol, the show's producer and demanded my home phone number, which was a clear violation of network protocol, Morgan alleges in her account. I had thought that was the end of the story and was shocked when he started calling my home, badgering me repeatedly. I became fearful and called Carol to complain and asked her to tell him to back off. But he made another call after that. I thought that he might end up stalking me at my home in Northern California, it was that bad. By the third phone call I was outraged and terrified, as he is really disturbed, Morgan said. The liberal funny men only backed off after Morgan threatened to call the police and make a report that he was harassing me, she says. Even though it was 17 years ago, Morgan says that Franken's behavior, and the fear it caused, has stayed with her. I never forgot that experience and it informed me of his lack of character and obsessive personality. I believe every word Leanne wrote, Morgan said. She also said she was willing to testify before the Senate Ethics Committee should a hearing be held. That investigation could be a fait accompli, and not just because Franken is under heavy fire from every corner in the media. Given that the Washington Post reports Senate Democrats are asking for an investigation, and that even Franken is calling for one into himself and his extended apology to Miss Tweedin, an investigation into his behavior is almost certain to occur. That could be very bad news if Tweedin and Morgan are just the first of a floodgate of accusers into the funny man and his entirely unhilarious behavior behind the scenes. The scenes.